My name is Whitney, and I'll be teaching you some of the basics of iWeb today. First, open iWeb. If it's not in your dock, you can always do a spotlight search to find it. Once iWeb is open, it's probably going to ask you to choose a page. For now, just select a blank, black, or white page. Okay, so just forget about this page for a second and go up to the top where it says the site name. These are your published site settings. This is the page where you can choose how you would like to publish your website, where to publish it, and what to name it. So go up to where it says publish to and make sure it says local folder. Then go to where it says folder location and choose where you would like to publish your website to. For this class, you're going to create a new folder inside your folder on the film drive and call it website. This is where you're going to publish your website to. And of course, you can also choose a name for your website here. Now that we have our published settings all set up, we can go back to the blank page that you created earlier. Okay, so you notice that down at the bottom here, there's a bunch of different options, such as add a page, publish site, etc. Using this tool here, you can change the theme of your page. You can do this at any time, even if you already have items on your page. This is the text box tool. You guys all know how to use a text box. You can type whatever you want in it, etc. This is the shape tool. There's a bunch of different shapes that you can choose to add into your website. Shapes come in handy for a lot of things. You can use them as banners or buttons or you can use them to, even to frame a picture. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the inspector. Clicking on the inspector button will bring up a box that will allow you to alter all the different aspects of your website, such as text and page layout. To start off, click on the page layout tab. This allows you to change the name of the page as well as toggle the navigation bar on or off. It also allows you to change the dimensions of the page as well as the background image or color. This is the text tab. Here you can customize the different aspects of your text. You can change the color, the font, the size, and the alignment of the text. This is the Shapes tab. It allows you to alter the different aspects of the shapes on your web page. You can change their color. And the thickness of the border around them. You can also choose to add a drop shadow and select the angle of it. Last but not least is the hyperlink tab. This allows you to create a hyperlink, which makes your text clickable. To use the hyperlink tool, check off enable this hyperlink, and then choose what you want to link to. You can link to one of your existing pages as well as external pages, like Google. Once you're happy with how your web page looks, you can publish it. Publishing it is kind of like saving, only when you publish your website, You'll be able to view it in your web browser to see how the final product will look.